Hello everybody, welcome back to another one of my videos. This is Aviation04 and today I'm doing the first Orlando International update with my new uh, airport setup. Um, it's, this is the third Orlando International Airport update overall, but this is the first with the brand new board. So um, if you want to see more details about this, uh, I'll link the video in the description so you can check it out. Um, but anyways, We'll get started right here. Uh, this is a Delta 757-300 that's going to head out to Salt Lake City. Uh, oh, and I forgot to mention there's one special route in this video. Um, this Delta MD-88 is going to head out to Atlanta or Citrus Aviation's airport. I'll also link his uh, information down in the, in the description, so check him out because he's a really good guy. He subscribed to me. And he's very positive and kind. And he's a great aviation YouTuber. Um, here we have a United 737-800. that's going to head out to Denver. And then an American Airbus A321 that's going to head out to Philadelphia. So this is what I was thinking. This is going to be the Gemini Jets area um, for a little bit until I get... Uh, more Gemini Jets planes in which I will uh, start to uh, place them various areas over here or down here and down there. So uh, right here we have a Southwest 737-800 that's going to head out to uh, Buffalo. Southwest 737-800 uh, that's going to head out to Chicago Midway. Um, Spirit A320 that's going to head out to Atlantic City, New Jersey. And then Spirit A320 that's going to head out to uh, Boston. Uh, right here we have a JetBlue A320 that's going to head out to, uh, we'll say Austin. JetBlue A320 that's going to head out to Boston. And then JetBlue A320, that's going to head out to um, uh, Montego Bay. Why not? Uh, and then Frontier A321, that's going to head out to Chicago O'Hare. Right here, we have an Air Canada 777-200 that's operating as Air Canada Rouge. This is going to head out to Ottawa. Uh, Southwest, or not Southwest, sorry, WestJet 737-800, that's going to head out to Toronto. And then Copa 737-800, that's going to head out to Panama City. And then finally for the domestic area, we have an Alaska 737-800 that's going to head out to San Francisco. So, this is going to be the domestic area type thing. So, I mean... This area may be more internationals, but it depends. Um, but yeah, so here's this. And then we're going to continue right here with this Delta 767-300 that's going to depart to uh, Amsterdam Schiphol uh, later today. It is delayed, though, because of uh, they had to close the airport down due to uh, an incident. So, it's delayed a bit. And then right here we have an Emirates A380 that's going to head out to Dubai. So, this is going to be more of a, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, sorry, I can't think. Uh, international area, probably. And if I need to, I could put cargo planes. I was thinking this is going to be the cargo area right here, these three gates. But if... Eventually, I'm going to try to get a DHL 757, hopefully from NG models, maybe Gemini Jets if they come out with it, whichever one's cheaper because um, these are the only Gemini Jets, well, and the FedEx, these are the only Gemini Jets planes that I have, and I'd like to try to get the entire area full of them, and money's kind of an issue with that, so I need to uh, try to get some more and not blow the budget. So, um, yeah. 
So hopefully I can get uh, some more or a DHL 757 from NG. And then I'd also like to get the Southwest 737 700 in the Colorado One livery. It would go here. Hopefully Gemini Jets will release it. Spirit A320 Neo. I'll probably get about two of them. Um, and then the 321 Neos for Jet Blue. They released them. I'll probably get two of those as well. Because um, I was looking at Flight Radar 24 yesterday. And I noticed I was looking at JFK. Because that's JetBlue's hub. And um, I noticed. And they had their uh, their first one. Uh, November 2002. I think it's uh, Juliet. I think that's the... The last uh, phonetic alphabet. I think that's what it's called. Um, but I believe it's J. And then I was looking yesterday. And I saw um, November 2016, I think, J. So they uh, actually got a new A321 Neo. So I would like... Oh, yeah, and they were, they're going to Orlando and Fort Lauderdale at the moment. So that's why I like to get them. Sorry about my finger there. Um, yeah, I'd like to get them. And then um, they're also supposed to get the A220 300s. So hopefully Gemini Jets will release those. The A220 models uh, are pretty nice. I've seen them in videos all the time and they look pretty nice. So um, hopefully I can get that. Um, and then Frontier. There are so many planes that uh, Gemini Jets could release with Frontier. Um, so, hopefully they can do that. And then I kind of need a Rouge, WestJet, Copa, and then Alaska. I'm thinking about getting an Alaska eventually. But, um, yeah. So, we'll continue now with this FedEx 767-300 that's going to head out to Memphis. And then... A UPS 747-400 that's going to head out to Louisville. So, um, I really like how this turned out, the airport. And then, um, my main criticism is these uh, Darren planes, they're really big. So that's why I, uh, I made these gates really small for the Gemini Jets planes. So that's why I'm trying to phase these ones out and get Gemini Jets. Or Phoenix or NG, whatever. Whatever fits the budget. But anyways, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, for those of you who like the short videos, I apologize. They may have to be longer videos now, especially with this. Because um, the airport does. It's a bit bigger now, so it, it'll take a little more time. Um, and I also did blab for about three minutes or so. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day, and goodbye.